LR, the liberal redneck here. Coming to you from a country where the majority of its citizens are struggling with how in hell anyone could have voted for Trump even once, much less twice. And some even tried to overthrow our democracy for him when he lied about there being a stolen election. He clearly demonstrated from the get-go that he only has one goal, the beatification of himself. The Russians bought him by co-signing the ridiculous loans he got from Deutsche Bank and made him president thereby guaranteeing his undying fealty. He took that to mean he should be president for life. He actually believed he could shoot someone on Fifth Avenue and his voters wouldn't care because he is such an admirable individual. He refused to show his tax returns and considered himself to be above the law when it came to the Hatch Act and the Emoluments Clause by using the White House as a backdrop to his recent campaign and accepting millions in foreign donations via his illegally owned hotel in Washington, D.C. He refused to put his assets in a blind trust and used the position of president to stuff his own pockets with taxpayer cash. He took nepotism to new heights by naming his intellectually challenged daughter and son-in-law to his White House staff and forcing government watchdogs to give them top security clearances when they had been deemed security risk by the experts. He fired the FBI director for looking into the Russian interference in the 2016 election and then bragged to the Russians that he had taken care of the problem. He deliberately downplayed and failed to respond to the COVID-19 pandemic because he was worried it would hurt his re-election campaign. A half a million Americans have died as a result, and it will likely be many more. He called soldiers who died defending our nation suckers and losers. No one in his entire family ever served in the military. But he claimed his ROTC training in high school was the same thing and made him smarter than our generals regarding military matters. He tried to bribe Ukraine to manufacture a scandal about his opponent, President Joe Biden. He posted fake pictures of himself on the cover of Time magazine in all of his buildings. His representatives offered pardons to convicted criminals for $2 million. Some of his most ardent supporters are Nazis. This is a man devoid of a single redeeming feature, and a segment of the population compared him to Jesus. His administration will be the subject of glaring exposés in the future. Hopefully someone will come up with the explanation of how it happened. Ultimately, like Hitler's thousand-year Reich, it was for naught, but the thought of something so egregious happening again is very sobering. You can reach me at theliberalredneck at gmail.com and you can visit live with me and my talented colleagues for our weekly wrap-up every Friday at noon central on blogtalkradio.com forward slash theliberalredneck. Thanks for watching.